Hello, Houston, and welcome to Celebration, where we are celebrating our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. But not only that, we're here to celebrate you. That's right, we're so grateful to uh, Marcus and Joni Lamb for allowing the local pastors this time, but they do it because they're concerned about you that are watching, they care about you, they love you, and so we're here for you today. At the bottom of the screen, there's a phone number. We wanna encourage you to take advantage of that phone number. You may be going through something, you may have a loved one that's going through something, you may have some friends that are going through something, and you would just, you would just desire more than anything else for God to come on the scene. Well, we're here to pray for you. We're here to pray with you. We're here to believe for you. The Bible says that if two of us agree here on earth as touching anything at all that we ask our Father in heaven, if we ask it in Jesus' name, He said it's going to be done. So we're going to pray today. Give us a call. Let us know what you're going through. Let us know what you need prayer for, and we're going to assist you with that. I'm so excited today. I'm Pastor G.F. Ruiz from the Great A-Leaf Christian Center Church, but I've got a guest with me. I hadn't had a lot of time to, to know him, but he's exciting and uh, he's going to bless you today. His name is Duan Hanks. He's the director and the founder of Incentives Drug Treatment Center here in Wallace, Texas. And he's got a lot of good things to say. Got some programs going on for the young people. If you have any young people sitting around you or if you know that they're sitting at home, give them a call and, and let them know to turn the TV over there to that great Daystar channel and, and let God speak to you. Now, we've got some, some music as well. We've got the Upper Room Fellowship that's going to bless us with some ministry today. Let's enjoy that now while we get ready for our guest, Duan Hanks. God bless you.
Upper Room Fellowship. Now they're singing about following the Lord and we want to follow the Lord and we want you to follow the Lord too. Again, I want to remind you that there's a phone number at the bottom of the screen and we'd like you to take advantage of it. We're not, we're not here to entertain. We're here for you. We're here for whatever need you may have in your life, whatever dilemma or problem you may be encountering in your life right now. That's why we're here. That's why Marcus and Joni allow us this time. And so we're going to pray. So take advantage of that phone number and call us and let us know what you need. You need that job. You have that family member that's sick. You're having that problem at at, at in your relationship, whatever it is, we're going to pray and we're going to believe God. And I believe God's going to turn it around today. Now, I also believe there's some young people watching us right now that have been surfing that that uh, that remote and surfing that television, and and all of a sudden here they got in front of this old old man with a little bit of white hair, and you're wondering what in the world is he talking about? Listen, stay right there. Give me a few minutes because I've got somebody who is sitting next to me here that's exciting that that wants to talk to you because you don't know where to go for help. You don't believe in preachers. You don't believe in church. That's okay. We, we're not here to talk to you about preachers and churches. We're here to talk about you and about how your life can turn around today and how God loves you and cares about you and wants to do things for you. Anyway, let's get with it. Listen, I'm, I am a pastor, Pastor G.F. Ruiz from the A-Leaf Christian Center here in town, but I've got a guest with me today. A young man, he's, he's exciting, got a beautiful smile. A uh, young fella, just full of energy here and, and uh, full of Jesus. And I've talked with him uh, very little, but long enough to find out that he cares not only about Jesus, but he cares about you. And that's why he's here today. That's why Marcus and Joni allow us this time to be here. But his name is Duan Hanks. He's a director. He's the founder of Incentives Drug Treatment Center in Wallace, Texas. And in a nutshell, what this is, it's a place that will help you if you're uh, battling with, uh, with addictions. And I don't know a lot about it, uh, but uh, he does and he's going to talk. Duan, I'm so glad to have you here. Man. Glad to be here. You're exciting, nice. man. I'm excited. Uh, I appreciate what you're doing for all these young people and for the kingdom of God. Tell us, tell us about this uh, this program that, that God has put in your heart. Well, God is, I mean, I, um, it's a true blessing. And uh, sometimes I think I'm not worthy uh, to be in that position to be doing it because it's, it's really uh, been, been, been just great. But, but none of us are worthy, are we? No. Because mm -hmm. the Bible says not many mighty, not many noble, not many wise men after the flesh are called. But God chooses the foolish things like you and I, yes, man. Yes. And, and it's by His mercy. And there's people watching right now that are in the same or in similar situations that we were in. But God yeah. wants to use them too. Yes. Yes, He yeah. does. Yes, and, and I'm glad you say that because um, uh, where we are in Wallace, we can accommodate 50 boys. We also have a facility in Katy, and 50 boys can reside there. And what we do is we push them up. 
Uh, we get them to see things from a spiritual aspect. Um, we get them involved in church. We help them to understand family and family roles and positions. Uh, uh, and we can also train them as far as teaching them how to work in vocational program with skills, get them back in school, get them in accelerated learning programs. And it's, and it's really rewarding because when they really start to believe uh, and when they really start to have faith, a lot of good things come together. But we have to keep pushing them up. But we have to place them in a nice, safe environment. And, and the Lord has put me, put me in a position to where in Wallace we have that safe environment as well as Katie. Okay, so you have those safe environments. Yeah. You have those, uh, those uh, uh, institutions there where these young men can reside. You Correct. have that available. Yes. And, and how, many, how many beds do you accommodate in, in Katie? Uh, 50. 50 in Katie? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. how many in Wallace? 53. And 53. Mm -hmm. And what ages do you, do you accommodate? We actually, are, we work with the kids from ages from 13 to 18, but we can actually take them from 10 to 18. From 10 to mm -hmm. 18. And then we also have a vocational program. It's actually called Youth Build, and, and it's a new program to us, and I'm really excited about it. The Lord has really uh, put us in a position to be able to train them to do core curriculum as far as construction to where they learn how to work in construction. Man, so it's an overall work you're doing with these young people. We've got a video clip that we're going to we're going to look at here in a moment okay. and uh, just want to let the audience see it as well and it's it's exciting. They they need to know exactly what it is we're we're talking about here. So let's just take a look at this this clip and and uh, and just enjoy it. Welcome to Incentives of Texas. Welcome to our home. This is one of two facilities. We're housed out here in Wallace, Texas. We actually can accommodate 50 boys between the two homes that we have here. So it's like a leadership academy for them to go back into their homes once we find appropriate placement for them. The boys range from ages 13 to 17. And, and basically what we do is we just teach them on, on how to be responsible, uh, when they go back to their home environment, educationally, spiritually, and just learning how to be a kid in, in just in a normal home type setting. We have education here, we have uh, games and recreation here. We do basically everything you would do in a regular household setting. Uh, we're, we're licensed by Texas Department of Protective and Regulatory Services. We have an accelerated learning program through, through Paradigm Education. They're able to catch up one or two grades if they're behind. They're, they're able to get an advance, per se, to get ready to go to college when they leave here. So everything we're doing in the Lord's name is to get them prepared to go back home to be productive uh, and to have a good foundation spiritually. And we're just excited about it. This house would actually open up in the next two weeks to start admitting boys here. So we can actually house 50 boys. So we have numerous bedrooms here. All of the bedrooms have bathrooms in their bedrooms because it's really important when you're in the state 